Rhoda and Schwartz, Minute Measurements. Hello, it's Rachel. I want to show you how to use our newest IQ noise cancellation option to help optimizing EVM measurement. What I'm measuring right now is 8.2 11 to 11 BE signal, 320 megahertz white, 1024 qualm. The EVM performance right now is minus 47 dB. Let's enable IQ noise cancellation option. Go to signal capture, optimization, turn it on, and increase the number of average to 5, see what happened. We got 2 dB lower EVM performance right now. Let's increase in the number of averaging to 20, see how much better EVM we can get this time. Right there, minus 51 from the previous minus 47. You got 4 dB improvement just within a second using this option. This IQ noise cancellation works really good for the lower power level signal. Like previously, I used a minus 30 dBm signal. Uh, more number of averaging, a few dB better EVM, a little bit longer measurement time. But how much improvement you can get really depending on the signal waveform. For example, your frequency, the bandwidth, crest factor, they're all related. A secret sauce about this option um, is we use a reference waveform to help calculate how much noise generated by the measurement receiver only, and eventually we're going to take out this part of the noise generated by the measurement receiver, but we also make sure the DUT generated noise remains same and true. For this setup, you only need one instrument, you don't need the multiple duplicated equipment, only software license update needed. For the folks who's interested doing DVD techniques in the future, we do provide a corrected IQ file. Thanks for watching.